So hello guys, it's me Rain and I am back with an update and so today is June 18, 2020 and it's it was my second um, PD catheter flush and it didn't really go as smooth as the first one um, last night. I wasn't able to sleep well. I woke up at around 2 in the morning <laughs> and because I was in so much pain, I have lots of pain in my lower abdomen and in my buttocks and i couldn't explain the feeling it was like i'm having labor i didn't give birth um through vaginal or normal through normal delivery i had a c-section emergency c-section but i experienced labor so i know that what i was feeling a while ago or that this morning it's like labor pain and it was really painful like i couldn't sleep i had to sleep in a fetal position and then wake up from time to time <laughs> yeah i was so sleepy right now and so we went to the hospital and i'm still feeling the pain it was a it the pain would lessen whenever i walk but then when i stop and just sit down that's when i feel it again so i tell i told the nurse about it and she said that it's normal because my body's still adjusting to the catheter and she said that the catheter is placed in the right position and maybe it's just touching something inside that's causing the pain and what else <sighs> she did the uh, flush it's like the manual just the difference is there's no dwelling and that's and something happened um i had fire fi fibrin in my um transfer in my tube and they had to inject something to pull it out before we could do the exchange the flushing so she's I was supposed to be back July 2nd for my third flush. Unfortunately, because of the fibrin, I had to come back next week for the third flush. And I'm just lucky that the nurse is so nice because we talk about things. And she asked me where I work and I told her that I work in a hospital. And she said, maybe you should study nursing. It may take time, but at least you'll be a nurse here, she said. She's very nice. And what else? And she left like 200 ml inside so that the catheter will float and it would lessen the pain around here. And I have pain in the buttocks as well. <sighs> right now, I'm feeling better. Like, I'm not constipated, guys. You know, usually things like this happen when you are, con um, when you have PD catheter and you are constipated but i'm not i'm really not constipated like i poop four, more than four times a day and the nurse was like wow <laughs> yeah that's it it's just weird i hate this feeling i hate feeling the pain because whenever i feel the pain that's you know i have a high pain tolerance but when i feel the pain it means it's really painful yeah and what else yeah that's it i'll be back next week and hopefully no fibrin build fibrin build up and i'll have a uh, smooth um exchange and not to feel any pain please a, yeah so i'll be back again bye I can't eat my heart. <laughs>